Hi Keto fam, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be based on the podcast that went live last Tuesday, depending on when you're watching this, of course. Um, and it was about something that happened to me last Friday. And I wanted to talk about it on a video as well as the podcast, because just in case you don't listen to the podcast, um, I thought it was important information to share. So last Friday I got up, this was the 30th or the 31st of August, I can't remember which date it was. Um, I got up in the morning and I had some carb cravings. Um, I tested my glucose and my ketones and both were fine. I think my glucose was 85 and the ketones were 1.2. So kind of normal for me. Um, but I had these really strong carb cravings. So what I normally do and what I suggest other people do when this happens is to eat a lot of keto food and that usually helps. So I got up and I had my breakfast and I had bacon, I had eggs. Can't remember if I had a nine second bread or not, I'm not sure. Um, I'm sorry, the cat is making a lot of noise. Come here. Are you interrupting? Hmm? I don't know if you can hear him, but he has... Um... Thank you. So I had a really hearty breakfast. I had bacon, I had eggs. I think I had a bit of halloumi. I can't remember if I had 90 second bread or not. But anyway, I had a lot of food. Um, and I wasn't hungry afterwards, but I still had the carb cravings. And I couldn't understand where they had come from. Because normally what happens is that if I have overindulged in keto carbs, or if I have um overindulged in non-keto carbs i get these kind of cravings and i couldn't pinpoint because i have been really strict for weeks and weeks and weeks so there was nothing i could easily put my finger on and we had eaten at home the entire week so there was nothing that was had snuck into my food in a restaurant or something like that that would cause these cravings so by lunchtime the cravings were still there nothing was really working so i had my lunch and then after lunch i had a couple of squares of dark chocolate hoping that that would hit the spot didn't touch them and it was the kind of cravings that it was were slightly different from what you get post um carbs for this i, I thought and i still think that it was very much like the carb cravings I got at the very beginning of keto, like that really deep craving from a cellular level. And this is what made it so strange to me. So I decided then that I was, at this stage by 3 p.m. I was pulling my hair out. So I decided that I was gonna make some keto mug cakes. Now you guys know being a carb addict, being a sugar addict, I have to be really careful about the keto treats that I make because as I said before, and I say it again, it's all well and good if you have a slice of cheesecake this size and it's within your keto macros, but I'm going to eat the whole cheesecake, so there's no point in me making it because I'm going to eat, not only going to eat like 20, 20, 25 grams of carbs in the entire cake, I'm also going to eat whatever amount of calories and fat uh, for, are in the keto food because obviously it's high fat. So I tend to stay away from that kind of stuff because I just cannot control myself. Um, so I decided to make the keto mug cake and the thing I like, like about this is that yes it's divided into two portions but that's it. It's uh, I think it's um, three or four grams for the two portions so it, even if I eat both it, it's not a two thousand two two and a half thousand calorie cheesecake. Um, so I made the, the mug cake I had one but it's did nothing, did not hit the spot at all. And I used a little bit more sweetener than I normally would because I thought that maybe the, you know, having the sweet flavor might dissipate the, the cravings, but they didn't. So by kind of five, six o'clock, I was pulling my hair out. I, I just wanted to scratch my skin off with the sheer intensity of the cravings. And it was, like I said, it was a craving from somewhere else. It was somewhere deep and it was, the, it was, as I said on the podcast, it's like a mosquito bite that you get that no matter how much you scratch it, you just cannot get to that itch. And that's exactly what it was like. And I was just, I was being driven insane by it because nothing that I normally do to get rid of the cravings was working. 
and the the things that I normally use, the tools that I normally use are very, very effective. Eat, eat as much as I can, eat till I'm really full, but nothing touched these cravings. So by 7 p.m. I was half crazy with the the cravings. It had been going on for 12 hours and I said to Fabio, I need to get something because I need to get rid of this craving. I actually cannot stand it anymore. So we went out to the supermarket. Now I'm not going to tell you, and I didn't on the podcast either, I'm not going to tell you what I had because I don't want to trigger anybody, but I had whole, whole foods carbs. So I didn't have any refined carbs, I didn't have donuts, I didn't have cookies, I didn't have cake, I didn't have anything like that. I had whole food carbs, but I'm not joking you. I had a small portion and it was like the cravings just disappeared into a cloud of mist and were gone. And that was it. And I still had some of this food left over. And normally it's, it is the kind of food that you just want to keep going, but I actually didn't. And then even an hour or two later when I was kind of poking and prodding a bit to see if the cravings were still around, I was fine. I was absolutely fine. And that was it. That was the end of it. Now, when I tested my blood sugar the next day, um, I was out of ketosis. I was out of ketosis on Sunday. Um, I had very low ketones yesterday morning and this morning now is the first time that I've registered properly back in ketosis. So it took kind of two and a half days for me to get back into full ketosis. So I was, I was producing ketones the second day, but not enough. I think it was 0 0.4 millimolars and this morning I was 1.2. So well back into ketosis. But it was strange. It was strange to me because it was a visceral, cellular level craving for carbs that I have never experienced before at such an intensity. And it got me thinking that maybe it was to to do with what Leanne Vogel from Healthful Pursuit talks about, that, that women need, needing a carb up. I've never experienced that before and I really hope it doesn't happen again. But if it does happen, to me again I will go and I will get something like beetroot or carrots or some other whole food higher carb food sweet potato something like that um or maybe even white potato because I think the sweet flavor the sweet potato might be a bit too dangerous but just something that will get rid of the cravings immediately so that I can move on because I didn't want the next day I didn't want carbs like you normally do if you have refined carbs it can trigger you want more carbs but it was just the weirdest sensation it was the strangest experience electrolytes didn't work extra salt didn't work all the keto food and I yeah so much all the keto food didn't work keto replacement treats didn't work dark chocolate with a bit of sugar in it the 90% chocolate did not work. The only thing that worked was a high carb food. And the cravings disappeared and that was it. So if it happened, if it has happened to you, please let me know below in the comments and let me know if you were able to identify where it came from, what happened, and um, how you managed it. If you did like I did and just went and got the carbs and got it over with and done. Um, or if there's some other strategy that you put in place because I think that for women especially this seems to be um, something that can happen maybe it's hormonal I don't know um, I definitely wasn't able to pinpoint it to anything in particular so I'd be really interested to hear from you guys to see if you've come across something similar or you've been through a similar experience yourself I would really like to know so don't forget and comment below if you have Alternatively, if you don't want to comment below, you'd rather keep it private, you can email me, you can send me a message on Facebook, you can send me a message on Instagram, all my links are down below. Um, you can let me know and we can keep it private and have a conversation. So yeah, that, that was it basically. So if you've listened to the podcast and you're watching this again on video, I'm really sorry for repeating myself, but I know that not everybody who uh, watches these videos listens to my podcast. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting as, uh, the information out there as much as possible. 
So one other thing that I really want to tell you guys about before I say goodbye is a new project that I am starting with my sister. Now my sister is uh, on keto as well. She's been on keto for more than two years as well. Um, but she is a cancer survivor and she is on keto to make sure that this cancer doesn't come back. And she's also lost a little bit of weight as well, so she, which is not a happy side effect and she's really happy about that. But we've created a blog together and I'll leave the link below and um, we're going to start a podcast together as well which we are really excited about um, and we do a lot of Instagram lives together and we're going to start moving them on to Facebook. So I'm going to leave the links to everything below and um, come over, have a look, check it out. If for nothing else, for the artwork because um, we commissioned the most fantastic artist to create a likeness of us. Now it's not an exact likeness, like it, it's very much um, an interpretation because the 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 drawings are our waists are this thin and it, which obviously is not real to life but they are the most beautiful pictures so come on over and, and join us get in the conversation tell us what you'd like us to talk about um and generally join in the shenanigans because you know you put two irish girls together and it's all that so if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time